catalog settings. Let's take a look at our catalog settings. We locate that under settings and catalog settings. Um, it's going to ask us to save current design. Um, in this case, my design's been saved. I just actually opened it, didn't make any changes, so I don't need to save it again. I'm just going to click yes anyways, just to be safe. It's always safe if you click yes. Now it's going to bring up all my catalogs that I have installed. And you see I have a few of them installed here. Now if we want to eliminate a catalog or copy a catalog actually from the setting, we just simply highlight which catalog we want to copy. Let's do KCD and click on copy. And now we can rename it. And I just name it A, B, 1, 2, whatever. Because um, once you name a catalog, once you've copied a catalog and named it, then it's good for all of your designs. It shows up over here under your catalog drop down, and it'll be there until you uninstall it. And then hit OK. Now, if you have an old copy, it shows up down here. The highlighted ones, the ones that are already highlighted, mean that they are a copy of an existing catalog. And this is the catalog name over here, and this is the catalog that it was copied from. Now, you see, I've got a couple of copies in here. If you want to get rid of those copies, you can just come in here and click delete and they go away. It also takes them out of our catalog drop down over here, so they're gone. So now I'm going to click OK because I'm done in here. I'm going to go open my design back up. And when my design's back up, we can come through here and we can see KCD1. So that's a copy catalog. And from here, I can just design as in normal. And if you do have a copy catalog, be mindful that you are now having possibly two catalogs in your design. So when you go to global, be sure to set up the right catalog. And this has been Catalog Settings.